To find the mass of the unknown, you have to subtract the mass of the vial empty from the mass of the vial with the unknown. That will give you the mass of the unknown solid that we use for the experiment. Then you are determining the temperature of your crystals when the crystals were forming back in solution at different amounts of water. So you started with 7.5 or 8 depending on the amount of compound that you had in the beginning. And then we were adding like 0.5 every time that we were repeating the experiment. So to find out the solubility, you have the mass of your unknown divided by the mass of the water that you have here in this column here. That is telling you that at that temperature you have this many grams of your unknown solid soluble in that amount of water. But you want to calculate in 100 grams of water, if you have 100 grams of water, which is what, not what we're using, right? We're using 8, 8.5, 9. But if you have 100 grams of water, how much of that specific solute or that specific unknown can be soluble at that temperature? So it's a ratio. You have the grams of your unknown, which is what you have here in number three, divided by the total mass of water, which you have to do with each different amount, that's equal to X amount of your unknown, that's what you want to determine, in 100 grams of water. So to calculate the solubility, you're doing the grams of your unknown, which is what you have in number three, divided by your total mass of water times 100. So if you're using A, that right here will be your 8 grams of water. The grams of your unknown, it's always the same number times 100. Then you move to the second one. The total mass of water is different now. It's going to be 8.5. And then you do the same with 9, 9.5, 10, or as many data points as you have.